In this video, we will talk about Ethernet connected but no internet access or we can say no internet access but connected. I will show you the method and the steps you have to use to fix this problem. But before going further, I would like to tell you now you can support us by clicking on thanks button given below to the video. You simply need to sign in with your Gmail account and you can get that option. Now let's talk about the method you have to use. Method 1. Check router and ISP connection. For to check the router, you simply need to unplug the router from the power outlet and then connect it back. It's gonna reboot your router and that will let you understand it could be a router problem, not ISP problem. For to check ISP connection, press Windows icon and then press R and type in here CMD, press enter and you will get a screen like this. Here you need to type ping, you need to type the DNS address of Google and then it's ping space 8.8.8.8 space minus t and then press enter this will show you the information you can see that it's replying me so that means this one working fine you can ping the different one as well you can use the same one and you can ping the cloudflare dns address which is 1.1.1.1 and then press enter you have to give a space then put a minus t and then you have to test isp connection is causing you any problem or not you can see that the time is showing 5 ms and here you can see that it's stable it's just going between three to six so it's stable my internet is working fine so that's how you can check the router and the isp connection method two turn off meter connection for to turn off meter connection click on windows icon click on settings click on network click on ethernet and here first you need to change the network profile type select private and afterward you will get this option metered connection you need to turn it off method 3 troubleshoot network do the same thing click on windows icon click on settings on the left hand side click on system scroll it down you will get troubleshoot click on it and here you will see other troubleshooters click on it here you can see internet connection click on run and this will start detecting the problem and just run it and restart your computer and check if this helps you to fix the problem. Method 4. Disable or update driver. Take your cursor on Windows icon, do a right click and you will see device manager. Click on it. Once you click on it, you will see a screen like this, device manager. Here you need to click on this arrow and you will see the information here. Let me show you what you will get. You possibly have the same interface and uh, you will see the information here. You will see that you have either the Intel Wi-Fi connection or Realtek PCIe family control. You will get the same information in here. You simply need to do a right click on that one. You need to click on disable device. And once you'll disable it, restart your computer and check if that help you to fix it. Or either you can simply do a right click and select update driver. Once you'll do that, click on search automatically for driver and this will update your driver. Or either you can search from updated driver on Windows Update. If none of these methods work, then simply do a right click, click on uninstall device and restart your computer, your windows will automatically install the driver and that will possibly fix your problem. Method 5. DNS setting. Do a right click on windows icon and select run or either you can press and hold windows icon then press R, R as in Romeo, then you will get this window. Here you need to type ncpa.cpl and click on OK. You will get a screen like this. Select your network, the Ethernet network. Do a right click, click on properties, click on Internet Protocol version 4, click on properties. And here you need to select this option. Use the following DNS server address, prefer DNS server. Here you need to type 8.8.8.8. You can use the left and right arrow key and then type this one and press tab. You will come down to the alternate DNS server box. And here you need to add 8.8.4.4. Either you can use the Cloudflare DNS, which is 1.1.1.1, 4 times 1. And then here you need to type 1.001. And then after click on OK, close it, and make sure you do the flush DNS as well. For that, you need to type CMG, the command prompt, select run as administrator, click on yes. 
and here you need to type the command ip config make sure you type the correct one ip config then give a space flush dns you can see that i'm displaying on your screen as well ip config give a space forward slash flush dns and press enter after this restart your computer and check if that helped you to fix a problem method six network reset for to perform a network reset simply click on windows icon click on settings on the left hand side you need to click on network and internet click on advanced network settings click on network reset and click on reset now are you sure you want to reset your network click on yes this will show you a screen like this one you are about to sign out window will shut down in five minutes simply close it restart your computer and check if that help you to fix a problem you can see that i'm getting a globe icon i need to restart my computer so that it can be fixed so that's how you can fix ethernet connected but no internet access or we can say no internet access but connected if you're getting any problem related to the same network related problem on your windows 11 windows 10 or if you're getting any kind of issue related to ubuntu or if you are a youtube content creator you can visit to our forum page i'm displaying on your screen and the link is mentioned in the description and there you can share your content or either you can add your question and ask for help so that's all for today